came back to London. And, uh, you know, I was in my building on Wimple Street. I'm in the top floor flat. The next day, I get a call from Jazz. He says, what, you know, have you been in the show? And I said, no. He says, uh, the collection's gone. Yesterday, thieves struck, forcing open a window and breaking into his couture house in Wimpole Street. From his workroom, they stole 68 suits, 35 shirts, four waistcoats and two Macs, worth a cool £75,000. It was just like a noise in, in a big building. Buildings have noises like pipes and stuff like that, so it kind of sounded like just another sound. Maybe ordinarily I would have got up and checked, but on this one occasion, I didn't. To get that collection produced takes six months. Time and effort. And then you can't replace it. And it's like, what, what now? And you go out the door and get run over next, isn't it? Oh, you are having a laugh, man. You had a silly new parking permit. You know, try to think about this because it's years later. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I paid Pascal. I don't know how I paid the lawyers. I don't know how I did any of it. But somehow, I did it. So I think from the experience taught me that, you know, when you think it's all end, it's all blackness. You're still going to get some light, if you believe. Because that's the one thing I had, was the belief. So, I mean, because nothing else was working. <laughs>